Hi everybody, today I have the privilege to sit down and talk with Anna Williams, who is the Administrative Coordinator with HR and Finance, and Susie Oliver, who is the HR Business Partner with Covance. And I wanna thank you ladies for your time today and all the knowledge that you will impart on us about Covance. Thank you. We're happy to be here. So can you tell us about the organization and what type of work gets done? Anna, do you want to take it or would you like me to? Go ahead, go ahead Susie, go ahead. So um, Covance is a company that's across or owned and operated by LabCorp Corporation Diagnostics. Um, Covance itself is a clinical resource organization. Uh, what our company does is develop, test, and market new medicines and devices that end up out in the, I guess, common geographic area. So most of your pharmaceutical companies will end up utilizing Covance to either test on animal before human consumption, um, and then we do clinical trials once it's gone out to market to see how the drugs have actually resulted in human consumption. So we touch it from both sides, from the development to the distribution and usage side um, to give the results to those pharmaceutical companies out there. And some of those companies are like the Eli Lilly's, the Pfizer's, um, Bristol Meyer and so forth. There's a bunch of them. So uh, we are a pretty large organization holistically between LabCorp and Covance. Uh, we are 65,000 employees strong. Uh, we were, are also a global company, which means we have operations everywhere. Australia, out in Asia, PAC, in Europe, uh, U.S., our largest bulk of employee base is in the U.S. However, we are a global company. Thank you. And then what positions are you hiring for and looking for? So we have a variance of positions at this point. Um, we hire for everything from accounting mm -hmm. to nursing backgrounds to phlebotomists to um, med techs, so we have PhD levels, we have doctor levels. Uh, we will employ pretty much every work category that you can think of we have within our organization because of the fact that we touch on the medical side, but we also need accountants, we need marketing, we need sales, uh, business development folks, BD. So we are an array of employers, so we will hire pretty much every position you can think of that any organization <laughs> may need. Um, so I would consider us an employer of choice because of the fact that we are a diverse company. Do you, hi do you have any internship programs? We do. Um, we have a college internship program that we run, and that's run from our recruitment group. And they typically reach out to the organizations and schools uh, twice a year to set up different time periods to come on campus and do some recruiting or do some WebEx type recruiting. And those positions are typically by function. Each groups will say, we need X amount of interns this year. So finance had a, a, a very large group this year. I think they had 10 positions holistically that they added. IT, we had some within the lab area itself and in our distribution sites. So we have multitudes of internships. Um, year to year, it could change how many and in which categories. So it won't always be the same. It'll be dependent on that work group and their ability to bring on those interns and spend that dedicated time with and you said two times per year for recruitment. Is that you like fall, spring, usually? Yeah, we, we typically like to come in in the fall and do kind of an introductory. Uh, we will do a lot of the placement and interviewing around that Thanksgiving time period, Christmas, which is usually what most employers are doing as well. And then staffing those roles in May, June, when college is complete. Um, so again, that's usually handled from our college relations group. 
and they will make contact even in the spring. So spring and fall, fall is when we're doing our heavier recruiting. Um, spring more just to capture people through the summer that may be taking classes and or have interest to be able to apply in the fall. Mm -hmm. What do you, so I know this is probably gonna be a difficult question because you <laughs> you're hiring for all so many yeah. different roles. But if you could pick a couple of key characteristics or qualities um, when hiring a candidate. So we look for that candidate to have a sense of customer service or patient centric, right? Caring for what they're doing, being able to understand that there's an ends to the means. Um, that we impact patients' lives regardless of the position we hold within the organization. Every position has a value that ultimately impacts someone's family member, whether it be a mother, a grandmother, a child. Someone has gone through our system as a clinical trials or someone's worked within animal testing that resulted in a a diabetes drug that their child now is using on the inside so that all our positions have a value. We take that to heart and understand that what we do, we do to the fullest and we provide that extraordinary service um, in every position. We so I think value in what you do and being able to take pride in the work you're doing on premise. Perfect. And then what are some, also, this is also a multi-level question, uh, career growth opportunities? Anna, do you want to talk? Or <laughs> you to talk at all? <laughs> Anna's been here a long time. She can speak to a lot of the different categories and positions, but, um, and Anna, also helps with our onboarding and orientations. So she's seeing a lot of the new hires that come through. I will tell you, and then I'll let Anna chime in, that our growth is dependent on the employee. It depends. You could come on board and be a med tech, and I have someone currently who's an associate director who's doing more of a um, project management scope instead. So she's moved out of lab, and she's doing more of a PEX project management focused um, EPMO position, right? So it depends on the employee and where they see their career going and where they have interest. I think we take a lot of pride in training people, but we also have the ability with tuition reimbursement for them to go back. And if they see something they like, and maybe I want um, to go into a different area of the business that requires a certification, we'll help with that. Right, to get them that knowledge and transfer. But Anna, anything to add? We encourage our employees to set their own career path. So if they want to become the next CEO of the company, let's set that person up so that they can become the next CEO. So let's build that career ladder. Um, let's do some job jobs um, networking, you know, whether that's um, doing some job shadowing, whether that's a mentorship program that we have within the company. Um, we're going to allow that person to kind of set that own career path. I love what I do. I love the team that I work for. So that's why I choose personally to stay in the role that I have been for the past 10 years. I mean, things have changed with that. Um, but we want employees to, to, to love what they do. And if they want to continue to grow in the organization, we encourage that as well. Perfect. And you did say that you're international, so you might hire international students as well? Depending we will. on where they can yeah, be placed? Yeah, I think um, the international internships or students, right, it's dependent on those countries and um, depending on what their needs are, they'll post those just like everywhere else. Um, they do need to have the correct credentialing, right, in order to be employed. We don't go through the hoops to get those sponsorships. Mm -hmm. um, most students will have, you know, an IAD or an EAD, rather, um, that allows them to work in the U.S., but each country will have its own specifications, and as long as they meet those, they're willing to work for us we'll take them on board. Perfect. 
And then if somebody is interested, what should their next steps be? So going on to our website at covancecareers.com, um, you can set up um, your own profile. So here you would update your resume, you would put in like a cover, cover letter, um, and then you're able to even set it up to have um, uh, different links that are constantly emailed to you. So if you have keywords or, you know, if, um, you know, key roles that you're looking for, you can set it up so that way you are notified when those roles are updated. Um, we encourage all employees to even have that. I have it set up. I believe, Susie, you've got it set up too to have your own profile. So then that way you are continuously in the loop of what is going on within our company and where is hiring. And, you know, sometimes it might just kind of a job come to you that just might kind of spark that interest and so it will kind of lead you towards um, a, a different path within the organization. Perfect and then um, is there anything that you wanted to talk about that the questions didn't cover that we didn't cover in the questions? So I, I think the piece that Anna and I wanted to emphasize is we're here in Indiana Right, we're an employer that employs 25,000 employees just for Covance alone. So, um, yes, we're under the umbrella of LabCorp at 65,000, but Covance itself is a pretty large entity and it's international. And um, we're not just looking for interns, we're looking for those alumni, right? Those PhDs, those MDs, those bachelors and MBA students that went through your organism or your university that have experience that can bring that knowledge over to Covance and help us continue to grow and develop. Um, and we're here in your backyard, right? So remember us, know that we touch a lot of patients. We've actually helped save people's lives and improve patients' lives. So our motto is to truly be involved in the communities in which we operate. Um, any ethnic organizations or minority organizations that we could get involved with or participate in, we would love to be part of those too. Now, I would say that out of the last, I think, I think the statistics from um, 2019, I think at the last um, 50 drugs, I think Covance touched 48 or 49 of those drugs. So it's pretty remarkable, you know, that each one of us has our hands on finding that cure for cancer or finding that cure for diabetes. And like Susie says, that no matter what role that you're in, you are making that difference in somebody's life. Absolutely. I appreciate what you do. And I appreciate the passion that you ladies have for what you do. Um, and we will make sure that we get this out to our students and our alumni, for that matter, thank as you. well. Perfect. Um, and we thank you for your time today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.